what is good guys it's ray j back with another video in this one i want to break down what's going on with spy tesla nvidia the qqq and a couple of other tickers i break down something very big involving tesla what you should be watching for as time goes on but before i begin the double information before i talk about what the trends are suggesting let me just mention a couple of things firstly i am not a financial planner take nothing i say as financial advice and also if you guys can please check out the weeble link which is down below and in the description we sign up for Weeble and deposit $500 into the account. You are guaranteed 20 free stocks. You deposit $25,000 or more, you're guaranteed 75 free stocks. And the software ends in just about a couple of hours. Anyways, looking at SPY, this thing is showing a lot of strength. Testing 512.5. We're still in the 512s. And lo and behold, guys, I said yesterday that if SPY broke 510, expect 512. We got a clean break of 510 and this thing reached the 512s. And we're still breaking 512.5. So we're going to be looking to see how this thing reacts to 5.13, to 5.13.5. And if that breaks, we could be pushing for 5.15. SPY is looking very bullish, very strong. There's not really anything stopping it so far. And this thing is favoring the bulls. It's just continuing to push. Now, as SPY is pushing, make sure you watch support at 5.12.5 now, 5.12, and then 4, uh, I'm sorry, 5.10.9 and 5.10. Overall, it's bullish. It's still pushing higher and sh still showing a lot of life so far. Uh, for Tesla, Tesla's starting to follow the trend. We saw this thing hit this 204.5 resistance and also 205 is going to be our resistance level. You can see how Tesla's been kind of rejecting, but overall, it's holding up nicely. We have this range right here, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth price action for about the last five days. Now, Tesla had a head and shoulders. I did call this out, right? This left shoulder here, the head and the right shoulder. But the reason why this didn't play out is because Tesla had some very bullish news that came out uh, involving them, uh, their prices, their raising prices for the Model Y. They had a temporary discount starting in early February, and then they said it's going to last until March 1st. Today's March 1st on the discount is gone, and the price went up temporarily, or at least uh, for now, uh, it went up just by a little bit. So with that happening, the headlines are going crazy about that, and that's why Tesla's pumping. There's also some news I want to talk about involving Elon Musk. Elon Musk is suing OpenAI for abandoning its mission to benefit humanity. He claims that they're breaching an agreement between him, Sam Altman, and the president of OpenAI right now. And he, he claims that Microsoft, which is partnering with them, and OpenAI are just going after profits, not really benefiting humanity. That He's criticizing them for essentially uh, basically keeping their code sources very, very closed right now. They're not open sourced. And... Uh, one thing that's worth noting is there, he's saying this for uh, one of their projects known as GPT, I think it's GPT-4. So that's not really the best of news, at least for them. Elon Musk is also mentioning that they're, they're just not really, you know, holding up to their mission. So the, the lawsuit is seeking to force OpenAI to adhere to its founding agreements, return to its mission to develop AGI for the benefit of humanity, instead of just trying to benefit Altman, Microsoft, and the other companies out there. He's taking risks at saying this. Now, I'm not a legal expert, so I'm not going to say much, but I can tell you one thing, and that is that Elon Musk has the right to do this, and if he believes this, he chose San Francisco as the venue, so that could work to his favor, maybe it will. So we'll see how it goes for him. Uh, I do believe he has the right to do this, and maybe he has a very, very good point. Open AI is supposed to be open with their codes and etc. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see how this ends up going. I just wish the best for him and everyone else involved. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, and I just hope to see how this ends up going. So with that being said, Tesla got a nice pump to about this 204.5 area to 205 is resistance. Watch this 202.5 is support. And to turn bearish, we have to lose 198. Overall, it's just in this range, but it's holding up decently. SPY actually helped it. The QQQ is on a rip. This thing broke past 442, and this thing is now testing 446. If we continue to break this, we're going to be looking for 447.5. And we do have some very tight resistance at 446, so be careful. There is a risk of this coming down a little bit and... Uh, retesting 445 so be careful we'll see how this thing ends up doing uh, don't forget we have a lot of shorts expiring on spy and for the market so you know this is what's causing and fueling this rally and if we continue to break these resistance levels uh, the qqq could break even higher so this is looking pretty good it's just fighting 446 just be careful if you reject or not overall it's still on a very very strong uptrend so it could come down a little bit and then just bounce or it could just push from here uh, I'd be watching 447.5 as well if we do end up breaking 446. It's still bullish, so we'll see if we can get that break. Uh, if it comes down a little bit, it could just bounce and continue pushing, so it still favors the bulls. For NVIDIA, NVIDIA is bullish. We're going to be looking to see if this thing can reach 825. It's approaching this resistance up here, looking pretty darn good. 
and it's still very, very strong. If that breaks, we'll be looking for 8.30 to 8.32 as our next levels. Overall, not bad from this stock. There's 8.28, 8.30, and 8.32. But overall, very, very bullish, very, very strong, nice little break. Apple came all the way down to the 177 and got a nice bounce. And now we're testing resistance at 179.5 and then 180. We could push a little bit higher towards 180, looking pretty good so far. Watch support at one, uh, basically very close to the support right here at 178.75. Then we also have 178 flat. But we look bullish. We're going to be looking for a push towards 180. Not bad whatsoever. A few more are also getting some nice runs. So we also have the IWM Russell 2000 continuing to push very, very nicely. We're going to be looking for this nice technical breakout right here. We could be pushing for 208 plus if we end up breaking past this resistance. We have Microsoft hitting 415. If we break past this, 420, well, 418 and 420 could be coming for next week or even very soon. Still looking very strong and bullish. AMD is looking pretty strong right now, hitting 202.5. If we keep going, we could be seeing uh, 205. And we also have Coinbase. 210 is going to be resistance to watch for if we keep breaking out. Looking pretty good so far with an inverse head and shoulders, favoring the bulls. Uh, we also have Amazon. It actually broke past the target of 178. We're approaching 180. Could keep going. There's no sign of this stopping. Same thing with Meta. This thing hit 500. Instead of slowing down, it's continuing to go. So watch 505 and then 510. Bullish overall. All right, guys. The market is very bullish. We'll see how things go. We're approaching 513 on SPY. There's 513.5 to watch for then 515. Tesla's following the trend, but still in its range. You know, the QQQ is still relatively strong. Apple's a little bit lackluster, but it's trying to make its way back up. And we also have NVIDIA looking very, very strong. All right, guys, the market's continuing to squeeze. Uh, I want to thank you all so much for listening. Uh, Microsoft is also playing out very nicely. I know we called out this inverse head and shoulders. Let me show you one more time before I end the video. So Microsoft had this bullish looking inverse head and shoulders, right? We called this out. Right, we have this left shoulder here. We have the right shoulder. We have this head down here. And the target is going to be 420. We're still continuing to push. We'll see if we can break out from this 415 to 416 resistance. But overall, it looks bullish. It's looking very strong. It's helping the QQQ push. And we're looking pretty good, in my opinion. All right. So with that being said, have a great day, guys. Hope you guys take care. I'll be pretty much uh, making this my final video until after the market closes. I'll have one more coming after the market closes. But that's going to be pretty much it. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Don't let the excitement get to you. Just be very, very open-minded. Be very patient nonetheless. And do what's best for your own portfolios. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Don't forget there are a lot of shorts on SPY expiring, close to a million. And that's why the market is squeezing the way it is. All right. Have a great day. Take care. Do what's best for your own portfolios. And peace out.